So I nearly, I was nearly, I nearly smashed a cunt in the petrol station. You're a violent man. Again? No. Fighting out of the G4 Studios, Scotland. Paul Fairchild Craig. Chris, the bad guy, on guard. Ross Cooper. Presenting from the street. Time for Leather Podcast! Nice well received us. Why don't you shit yourself? <laughs> Maybe. No, no, that's yet. disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's getting over this way now. Right. So, let's take a skin on the teeth there. Are we, uh, I'm all good. I'm all good with volume. Aye, I'm all right. Oh, yes. Everybody else's levels are right. It's not me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> if that was me, I would claim that. <laughs> <laughs> that's like worse than the smelling salts. <laughs> And boom, we're on. Aye, so, uh, <laughs> what's happening? Not a lot. Man. Too much it. You went to see Retro Video Club? No, was I didn't. That was, a, that was an old... Oh, was it? Guy. It was like a, a year ago. Who, was that you posted it, like, or Liam? It was me. Oh. It was me. It was me. I've, I've got a wee buzz, a wee bit. Good couple of heavy boys, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> Liam's all right, aye. Right. They're all right. They're good I went boys. to ice hockey, mate. It was good. Clan got smoked. Uh, seen, seen your keep. <laughs> you are like the fucking Drake of ice hockey. I know. Uh, do the way, please, if that's all right. Well, as soon as I like the Browns game and they want it. Right. As soon as you went to the, I know. I the took, clan, they've just started like fucking went on a slide. points. Uh, I took the family like, oh, this is going to be good. My kids loved it, to be fair. I know. The action as well. It's like 8-5. I need to go. I, I thought it was good. The finish Do- Portman League though. Aye. Didn't get the playoffs. Aye. So that was, they were sad at the end, like, <laughs> saw them like, putting out some fucking mad tweets as well, eh, about being forced to play injured and then other players. Who's just players are? Well, Dyson came on and saying uh, nobody was forced to play injured. He's like, if anything, people were injured and should have played. I think he was covering for somebody that did uh, an interview. It looked that way. I didn't even know the full ins and outs. It's, yeah. it's, it's, it's a rough sport. Of course you're going to have injuries. Fuck, I, mm. Even, I was sat doing quite near the boards and it's much different. See, when you look down, you see them getting smacked into the boards and you think, ah, oh, that was probably quite hard. See, when you actually see a cunt hitting the fucking boards, you're like, mm-hmm. aye. <laughs> and he's just come pelting doing an ice rink at whatever miles per hour in there. But it was good. I enjoyed it. I'm mm-hmm. kind of sad that's it for them this season. So got to wait a wee while to go. I need to find a summer sport now. Start taking them with football. You sure a hockey guy, Chris, has fucking oh, got yeah. everybody into hockey. Ah, he's, the league's just finishing, but the playoffs are coming up. Stanley Cup <laughs> is uh, the Bruins. Aye, aye. probably do that. It will be last night for one, though. We bet, but they're already the top, so they're yeah. already. Was you know. that a uh, coupon buster for you? I'd, I'd bet a first goal. I bet Parson had to score first, and um, they didn't score first. You got a first goal scorer on on Sunday, Sunday as well, eh? So that was a guy. fucker. Don't, don't upset the, the Rangers fans here. Aye, <laughs> uh, Maeda, fifteen seconds. So what? So what? Don't, don't, don't upset. It was a draw, was it? No? I that's. <laughs> I bet. And <laughs> it's all the result for saying. Is there? Are they not close to winning the league? Because they've got like two games in hand? No. They've got one tonight, but Celtic has got a home game. No, but Celtic has got like so this, four home games. Is this home. right in saying that it's going to be it's right to the wire? It's got in the wire, right? See, that's what you want mm. for sports. I've been I, saying I, this. No, it is. Like, f- the for game is fucking tense on Sunday, wasn't it? Good. Like, I was pacing up was in the room for about an hour, man. How many games did you go to during the period when Rangers were in the... Uh, the same league as them and enjoy it and didn't leave at half time aye but you're, you're still happy because you're winning trophies but it's no the but, excitement I know what you mean but, but trophies with the, a rival is I know that's not it, it's, I know it's not today brain but what to I mean to be a great champ means a great rival aye, eh, aye. I think like if you're just going to just blam on folk in the in Spam, it doesn't really have the same effect as when you go in and blam on somebody who you know is good that's aye. worth more I know what you're trying to say aye. John Jones DC Need the big rivalry, eh? yeah. and it wouldn't have been the same. No, it was a good, it was some game, might it be fair? Like fucking, probably the game of the season so far. Mm. So any controversy? I just seen some guys <laughs> tweeting about VAR. No, this isn't, this a, is this this isn't a football podcast. We'll yeah. back to the other gentleman, man. Oh, I know. But I know there was there was certain calls, eh? But this, you've got to get that. In. Mm. But there's a game of night and like Dundee's pitches, fucking 
a riot then now. Cracking weather for it Keeps too. Keeps getting cold off, so they're like doing another pitching, pitching inspection at ski, I think, or something. Can you not just... So if the Rangers win the night, they go back to that, basically, with a couple of points. So, it's got... No, after this game, like, they get split, so all the top six teams play each other, so it's all the harder games, basically. So, no. Aye, well, one meal, sorry, it's Saturday. Um, so you, you need to still beat your Kelly's away, your hearts and that. So these are all the hard games that Celtic are struggling with. <laughs> Aye, hearts will be Celtic twice this season. <laughs> so is Kelly, fuck, so... And then I'll go and lose to Livingston. Aye. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I'm not saying it's, it's got to come down to the Celtic and Rangers game, because it's no, because I do think the, the other two will, will drop points somewhere as well. So mm-hmm. that's tense, man. That's, 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 that's what you want. You like it more, though, eh? Aye, of course, man. But like watching it's horrible, man. Like, See, watching Sunday. it when you're no... On the the sauce, is it shit? Aye, so I just watched it in my living room myself. I think because if you, cause you know if you go, because if you go, out, it's uh, like I was uh, supposed to go to the pub, but I was just like, you know, fuck, this is not worth it. Especially when you went ten, di- ten days out. Yeah, uh, ten, <coughs> ten days a day. <coughs> so the next one, however, Celtic Park, sixty thousand. I will be there, and I will be drinking. <laughs> but it could be like a couple of weeks away for that. Can you split? You, you don't know the yeah, don't know the fixtures. Fixtures. So, but I, it's, I'll go right to the wire. It'll be, it'll be interesting. Exciting time. Mm-hmm. So Scottish football mm. it needs to be because the rest of the time it's fucking murder. I special. <laughs> so I was going to go to the Levy Aberdeen game on Saturday just because I had fuck all to do, and I was like, ah, I fucking love it. Like, I love it. Like, do you like yeah. it? Do you just like it? Do you like the SPL? I don't watch any other football apart from you. I love the Scottish league because it's your league, yeah. and it's like. You get the old funny shit like Neil Warnock being Aberdeen manager for a couple of weeks now. I mean, <laughs> stuff like that. And it's shite, but it's your shite. <laughs> but ah, exactly. Shite being Scottish. Watch the foreign cunts paid millions and just rolling about the ground and all this shit. Where mm. there's mere pure purity in Scottish football. I think. One of the Levy players why. stays in my street, like he's my neighbour. I didn't even know he was my neighbour for, he's lived there ages. And then I went to one of the games and seen him, I was like, that cunt lives fucking three doors away from me. <laughs> I was like, what's he doing? <laughs> but aye, random as fuck, eh? I remember as a wee guy, there used to be like an Airdrie player that stayed on like my paper run. Aye. And I thought that was cool. Because yeah. they're just normal guys, eh? Aye. This is it, there's no, some teams are making a lot of money, but most teams they aren't, eh? Can they just normal people? I, I, so, as a kid, I still thought this guy was like, this guy's fucking big time. <clears throat> Who was your favourite Hearts player growing up, Ross? Since you're, Ross is a Hearts fan. Aye. Aye. Probably Craig Gordon, eh? Right, Craig Gordon. Aye. I Aye. saw him in the Bakers the other day. Remember Big De Vries? Remember Aye. that guy? He was a good striker, wasn't he? He was very was good. Mark De Vries? Mark De Vries, eh? He was very good. Do you take me, man? Colin Carmen. I've Colin. taken him to Livingston games and stuff, but he gets bored, eh? He's, he's just a bit like, uh, he's all right if he goes with his pals. So sometimes, like, him and his friends will go to a living Sorry about the noise, guys. Do, they, do, they, do the schools give them out tickets? Aye. That's pretty cool. Cool. It is, but then, like we're saying about the hockey there, they're filling that ice rink, and Livingston are getting, like, 2,000 people coming out to watch them. It's a shame, eh? Cause so last, last week they gave Celtic the full three stands. That that makes, that makes money. Money. Aye, mm-hmm. gives them money. Yeah. They're, they're getting relegated, don't they? I think they're both. Who, Levy? Aye. I think so. I think they're sure they are. They're doomed. <laughs> Let's get off this shit. I know. Aye. You want to talk about fighting? There's a big fight coming up. Up his game, man. He's right to talk about the fights of the weekend. Just been or just coming? Just been. Just been. Aye. Brendan Allen, did you watch fight? <laughs> I only watched that one fight. So it's the same. Watch your because what, I bet on it. It's a what, fucking what are we saying about this? It was a good fight. I, I thought liked it was a good fight. I thought it won. I'm going to say it, I thought it won. It I, seems to be quite a popular. See, when you're controlling somebody's back, maybe you're not getting the choke. You're still controlling somebody. I don't care what anybody says. You're still controlling for about two or three minutes. Mm-hmm. He was mm-hmm. landing nice strikes as well. What did Curtis Day mere than Alan? He was hitting heavy. Aye, one, or twi- one or two. And mm-hmm. good shot to the body, but he was getting took down. He was getting his back took all the time. And Alan was landing nice strikes as well. Alan like was nice good, elbows, man. nice head kicks. And see if there was 10 seconds left in the fifth round, it would have been over. Mm-hmm. So, so what's Strickland's tweet? Have you seen this? Saying he, no. did, he did one round of sparring and fucking Tingway was injured. Curtis was, uh, Curtis was injured. He said that the film crew came in, they did one round. He said, I couldn't have done any more rounds. And the pace I went at was very, very low. You just know how I spar. I had to fucking beat him up because he shouldn't have even been in there. Something like that. No, I thought he said he, 
He went light on him, so he aye. made him look good aye. for the cameras. For the cameras, because, he, because Curtis was so badly injured. I don't know. Was this it the hamstring? A, maybe. It, it, the, it was a bit cryptic, eh? And Curtis but, is always training, though. They're always in the gym. I heard them saying that in the commentary. We did five rounds. They're always going. He is tough, but... Um, I don't know. Aaron's good, but I think Alan thinks he's better than what he actually is, though. He's mm-hmm. calling for the title shot, he's doing that, and thinks he could have just breezed by Curtis, which no, I think the guy already did not do it. He needs another. He needs another big fight. Aye. He needs that Marvin fight. I think. I think. Which I think. A tough, tough, tough fucking fight for him, tough. I think he's a tough fight for MD. Vittori. Um, Vittori. Yeah, he's, he's just. He's like a fucking Balrock for. Uh, <laughs> he just keeps going. Hobbit. Eh. He looked, he looked tired in the fifth though. Alan looked fucked. They, they he was guard, bro. He, I, he was, he was I know. Him, bro. He was. Uh, there was. There was a lot of shots thrown. Aye. Like some really good head kicks landed for Alan. Twenty five um, minutes in a while. It's a fucking long time, man. Mm-hmm. See, sometimes all these short notice fights for Curtis jumping in there when there's no really any time to start thinking about things, and a guy just goes, "I fuck it, I'll go for it." They kind of do just jump in and go all in, eh? Mm-hmm. And sometimes they get the result. Like we've seen it before. All in. Isn't it? I think that's we can we can definitely do three rounds. Doesn't matter if you get offered a fight tomorrow, a big opportunity. I could eat too. We, like. we could easily <laughs> we could easily do three. One and a half. It's day it's day five. Day five five. five like Twenty five minutes. It sounds like forever, eh? To fight, aye. Sounds like fucking ages, aye. Fighting a guy for half an hour. <laughs> you don't in the gym all the time. You don't hang, but aye. it's everything that comes with it. With the fight week, the weight cut, the nerves on the day. Aye. Fights are totally different, obviously. But it's hot. You're cut. Something's maybe happened. Sometimes the style of fight. Sometimes mm-hmm. if you're in front of somebody, just doing a bit of trading and moving, you could do that all day. Mm-hmm. It's when you implement the grappling, the cage work, the ball work. You're up. You're doing. You're like fuck. And grappling against the cage for me is the most taxing. Aye. Like, see, see, that's where I rest. That's I feel the scrambles before that. Aye. But when you're trying to switch each other's back, trying to mm-hmm. get up and doing guillotines, then you're back to your feet. Mm-hmm. That's what taxes me. Oh. <laughs> there was like my best pal, man. I, I, I use it. I, I use it. Like, I, I use it like just to, this is like a breather. Right? I know that I can catch shit that's coming in. Mm-hmm. I can defend stuff relatively easy. But it's, um, I, it's as you're saying, it's the wrestling exchanges where it's like, bup, 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 and maybe Gina. he just hits one more mm-hmm. scramble more than you, and you're like, fucking miss it. I always think as well, like, if somebody's got me against the wall, when I get off here, we've got to get back to fucking trading again. Do you know what I mean? Whereas when you're holding somebody down or holding someone against the wall, you're always moving, you're always working. And they're obviously having to work harder because they're being fucking held down, or they should be. But when you're holding someone down, like that can take a lot out of you, but it's obviously far less taxed than on the bottom. So I suppose I, but that last fight there, I had started to feel it a wee bit in the quads towards the end of the second round. I'm like, my legs are getting a bit fucking heavy here. And it must just be with digging into your toes, pushing yeah, down right, right just constantly. pushing, pushing, pushing the whole time. Cause it's an unusual, when do you really do that? Like nonstop pressure through the legs. So, and as you say, Chris, you do it for an hour in the gym. So aye, you do an hour. I've of never wrestling. noticed. Aye. You can do an hour of wrestling and then do an hour mm-hmm. of kickboxing, and it's aye, it's fine. I've you, never noticed that. You before. elevate it into the octagon, and you've got a guy that's unknown in front of you, and it just changes up the mm-hmm. dynamics. But I thought the fight itself was good. Um, it was a good, good fight. fight. What, fight. About, fight. what about these apex cards? What we a shite. <laughs> Like just about life, let's say. See this start. The fuck, we still here. I've got to start fucking getting like friends and family. Have you seen this? Like, well, that should have been done for the start. So I thought no, this no, was no, always no. a thing. No, no, no. It's no. Have you not seen? So you're not allowed tickets for the Apex. I know that they're just got to start doing it. I. But if you feel last week, so we get an email for Hunter, and when Hunter drops you an email, like, Aye. it's no good. Like something's, it, something's happened where he's had to step in and been like, no, this is fucking stopping. So what happens is you get four tickets, which happens at every UFC event for friends and family. But once you've done your fight, they escort your four friends Andrew. out. Fuck's sake. Like, what the fuck? So what, they're just going to be like... So you don't have a ticket then? No. <laughs> you just can come and see so one. You can, so you can come in and watch your mate fight. And then once it's done... They're escorting you out. Like, what's, so the place is going to be even empty? Because uh, like, that's eight people that are getting fucking pulled uh, out. What for? Aye, what's, what's the reason? What's the secret, like secret sauce? Man? I don't know. I think it's. I don't know if it's because they might rituals and everybody's. Away I don't know if it's shit. because people are maybe ripping the dick out of like the the howler head the and then the buffet <laughs> and all the shit. Is there. Is, there no, is there no merchandise as well that you can swag you can take? 
No, I think you need to pay for something. You have to pay for the merchandise, aye. aye. There was a stall, eh? But the rice and the fucking naan bread was soup de <laughs> aye. The food was very good. Kept, is this where the food is in here? <laughs> <laughs> You've been here four times, bro. You're fighting next week, fuck's sake. Do you, can you remember they used to do the... So after every UFC event, they would put on like a massive spread for you. Do you remember this? Aye. It was fucking aye, incredible. the hotels? That's no, no, no. After the fight, so... When you fought, oh, I, I, sorry, like, I, so I, I fought in green, the green rooms. I, and that. So I fought in Sacramento. All the fighters go back there, and then there's a buffet, and there's like the Steaks. fucking there's Steaks, the ice cream, man. ice cream bar, uh, like just fall, straight as steaks. I, you name it, you can have it, and it's just like hum hum hum. Don't know where we are though, didn't we? I think it's short, uh, and then obviously they've never ever brought it back in. They've just been like, it's not happening. And then Johnny Walker's getting escorted out with bare feet. <laughs> right, Walker, you're done. There you go. Because yeah, he's got to set about the doctor. Right, what happened? No, that was a one in one. He was just like in the street. Aye. What about uh, <laughs> his brother was fighting the weekend? I didn't even know he had a brother. Aye. I think <laughs> I he, thought that fight was terrible. I think he didn't use his, the name Walker because he wanted to like one of these things that I want to do on my own. But I, I, I don't know the outcome yet. Does he look like Johnny Walker? Is he? Is it like? <laughs> is he is a it shagger like, as is well? It like a black guy brother? Like he's my brother, or is he actually his brother? <laughs> I don't know. We're all brothers here. Right. I don't know what the fuck so he looks like. His name is Walter Walker. Um, he, he doesn't look Brazilian. He looks and fights like a Russian. Does he? If you if you got a picture of him, can you can we so unusual these European so, looking Brazilians? Eh? So, sounds like his dad's a shagger man. <laughs> <laughs> I work with a boy. He's got a full on German first and second name and he's Brazilian. Aye, that yeah, guy. <laughs> that guy's a, <laughs> uh, he's got a bit of fucking. He looks yeah. like somebody that fucking <laughs> would end up fighting in like Forza show or something <laughs> like that. <laughs> With tattoos on his head and that. Uh, <laughs> I mean, he's got some, he's got some bit of belts. Hmm. Aye, I see a wee bit. A wee bit of what, mate? They're, they're, they're both big. They're <laughs> both big. <laughs> they're both big. And is he a light heavyweight as well? Heavyweight? Heavyweight. Heavyweight. Good training partner if your brother's Hi. good. Bad training partner if your brother's a fucking retard and you can't fight. Valter. Mm. So that was a that was a weekend. Did they win? No, no I got beat. Got beat. Shame. Shame. Do <laughs> you feel bad for him? Like <laughs> didn't know him till fucking two minutes ago. I know. He was blown out his arse after like a minute. I've been there. <laughs> <laughs> I know. When's when is the worst experience where I've been blown out your arse? As oft. Oh, I already can. Was it was it the one the 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 summer in the Cage Warriors Academy where it was red? Oh, that was fucking. Do you remember aye, the one aye. against aye. your who, who was what his name? Da Silva, aye, aye. Brazilian boy. Is that is that the worst you've ever? Aye, because I was exhausted, man. That was through heat and output, but aye, just for the weather alone, the heat. But probably the Charlie Lee fight. Like I was like the third round. I was fucking eating nothing. But that was that could be done in a, a, wait, a dodgy weight mm-hmm. cut. But no, I had the one and the wheels. The worst that I that was. Aye. If you so, know, so, how, if you know see, how I know you're gay. So, see, after it, we, get, we both <coughs> get to, to the, straight to the medicals because we stitches and that. Do you get dragged into the. Aye. So we, we're lying, both lying on a bed beside each other, getting stitched. But he's making mad noises, so they've literally dragged him in with the arms. Like to the show on the ground with the arms and under a shell and just fucked the shell. Jordan's went over with a bottle of water. It's just out of the guy's face. He's like, <laughs> like water bottle. <laughs> oh, oh dear, you dafty. Mental, man, mental. <laughs> So guys, if you have been involved in an accident, why not hit up G4 Claims? Who will deal with your whole... Did you like that segue? Have we not done one? No G4, no, no. G4 Claims. Who will deal with your full claim? Ross, how can we get in contact with these people at G4 Claims? 01698 767 172. That was obviously the phone number that Ross just started dreaming after the number because he dreams about this number. I or do. if you don't have a phone... Well, you can get them on WhatsApp, which is their most preferred method of communication now. And please do not send any inappropriate pictures to the females that work in G4 Claims because it's uh, inappropriate. It's very rude. And we laugh at them. <laughs> <laughs> and you can also get them on the website or in the link in our description. The it's web- a no-brainer, am I right, Ross? It is. If you have been involved in a non-fault accident and you're looking for 100% of your claim, you're looking for a courtesy car, your whole claim as well, and you're looking not to deal with any of this hassle, then pass on to G4 Claims. And you're welcome. Ross, that number one more time. 01698 767 172. The website, please. Not at faultclaim.com. Keep it G4 claims.
The worst one I had was Vegas, the two o nine against uh, Pedro. Pedro, like we had, I had nothing in the tank, so we had mixed up. We so inexperienced for your part because we went. This was the first fight as a full time fighter. Up to that point, I was. Uh, Daniel, Daniel, Daniel. I was. I wouldn't have went with that one. See, my arms just gave up. Mm -hmm. I couldn't keep them up. Because like, you were a first round guy. Like, that, was, that was you. What's this? Did these arms not work? Did you not hit him with like a, a throw? Aye. I hit him with a judo throw. Aye. And uh, he bounced back up, and I'm like, hmm. <laughs> unusual. That's unusual. <laughs> that doesn't usually happen. This guy's not well either. Let me, let me dry hump them. And then I hit him again with it, and then. He ended up on top because he rolled me, like you know that fat man roll, and uh, then he just crucifixed me, and I was like, <laughs> like just couldn't move, and I was like, <laughs> oh, but uh, it was it was fucking terrible. So that was the worst one for you. I think I, 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 I it, it, it was gassing. No, I wasn't bad that one. No, no, I mean I, I did take a fucking bleaching for fifteen minutes, but my arms just I couldn't actually protect my face. It was like. Do you think the, it was a lot of pressure and nerves as well? Go, it, it, it was, the training was wrong. Yeah. It was, we went too hard. I ended up working with this nutritionist guy. You, for the output, you went over early, didn't you? I, for, the output, for the output, I was putting into the camp. The calories were on the right. I remember when we went to the PI and I'm sure that was 2017 and you showed them the nutritionist stuff and they were like, oh, that's nowhere near enough. Aye. And it was, like, the, with that actual, following that diet plan, like it was great, I was in some shape, mm -hmm. but the diet plan itself had actually s slowed my uh, basal metabolic rate. So the actual body's ability to, to burn fuel and keep the body, go, like the fuel burning. So it slowed me all the way down. And then we then had to kickstart that back up for the, with the UFC PI. Yeah. But um, I, I was, that one was bad with Pedro, which because the arms were like, I've never experienced this in my life. Like, what about you, Ross? Two, two things ago. <laughs> Do you want to guess? <laughs> 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 Undoubtedly, aye. Fucking. That was clearly through output, though, as well. Aye, and that, and I just didn't hit. <laughs> what do you think? You weren't fit enough? I wasn't fit enough. No, I don't think it was that. No. Two big guys just constantly reversing each other and trying to squeeze and finish. Mm. That's that's a hard game for anybody, man. I remember being like at the end of the first round, just sitting there like, I'm fucked. <laughs> <laughs> like, I mean, sitting on the stool and J James had the bottle of water and he went like that with it, like to hand me it. And I just like opened my mouth, like just fucking pour it in. <laughs> and he's like, no, you take it. And he actually like laughed. He was like, you take it. And I was like, it's funny because yeah. see that actual, the silver fighting wheels for me, like in the third round, going out. In my mind, that all I kept saying was, I'm fucked. I'm, I don't know what I'm going to do to win this fight because I've got nothing left. And then I go out and you have the best round of the fight. It's weird what the mind is. Mm -hmm. It's like, funny as well because I remember getting back up off the stool and just being like, hey, he doesn't look that tired. Like, and then he took a couple of steps and I thought, oh, maybe he's about a fucking hell. <laughs> just, and you just start going again. It's so fucked that up. That cage was totally an awesome. So you're like, it was, you were just, he was there action. right away. It was, action, aye, it was good. Um, you, you noticed after the weekend as well with the Apex card, how tight that, that Octagon is. The guys are just Steven, like, oh, Steven Brendan wanted to wrestle though, he, he could get him down the bar and it's mm -hmm. quite nice wrestling as well. Aye. So he's so good at getting to the back. Is the, back, is the apex much smaller than you would normally fight in? Yes. It's a small cage. Uh, it's, a, it's a small cage. It's maybe like the difference here, like five feet or something like that, but every inch miles. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. you know I watched your fight with Brendan again the other day. It was up, UFC put it up. It was a good fight. I liked it. I liked the bit where he's both rocky each other. It's like you throw, I think you throw a hook and he throws a cross at the same time. When both and guys are on skates like that. Uh, <laughs> it was quality. It was disco like. Dominic Cruz was loving it because obviously we didn't get to hear the commentary because we were sitting watching. That's the first time I've sat and like watched it with Dominic Cruz is like fucking, I quite like his commentary but it seems a bit unpopular with everybody. Quite a lot of guys don't like him and I think yeah. it's because he is maybe just too technical. If you're an MMA guy, we know the tech, we know what's happening. Mm. So having somebody clarify it, it's fine, but if you're just the everyday pundit or listening, I'm thinking, fuck, he's I like just, him. I like him as well. Mm -hmm. I get the feeling though some of the other commentators, Danny, like you can see they kind of rub off each other. What's the DC Conor McGregor thing? What's this? That was old. I think that was an old. What is, is it? it old? Aye. Just in the tweet. I'm not going to reply to you. That I'm not going to reply to you, but you can just wait till I see you. Kind that, of. Thing. That was like, I thought, oh, Conor yeah. McGregor said this to DC. This was years ago. Oh, was it? Nah, it was DC an saying it to Conor DC's McGregor. DC's got a big turbo titties and just lying happy and <laughs> fucking dry humping. <laughs> you see him telling him if uh, Max, if he was 145 pounds, he'd batter Max Holloway. 
<laughs> DC like, did. DC was saying it to him in an interview the other day. He was like, if, if, uh, and then he told him, he was like, hey, you weren't on UFC, UFC 200 because I didn't want you on it. He's like, I wanted to be on it and I didn't want any of the shine on you. So just so you know, I was like, fucking hell. You're, done, you're, DC. you're nice, mate. Right. Champ. I know. What about um, Ian Gary? Said he's signed a contract. He signed a contract and Kobe's. He's not, yeah, basically. Good yeah. move to make him sign it. Eh? Rocking the Brazil tap, you know what I mean? I know. It's like easy pop. Is this well, where is it? he is in Brazil do you think, these days. Do you think because you've got a date and planned that it is the McGregor card? Because you always wanted to go on the same card as mm. going on Chandler. So See, that, him, that fight itself, Sam. Ian and Kobe is at the co main. But that fight itself can be a headline, though. Kobe. Oh, for sure. Kobe. Well, they were saying it was pushing for a Dublin card, but I don't think. I don't it know definitely could be like a, like, see one of the top European cards. Mm-hmm. Definitely mm-hmm. could be one of them. Well, they could definitely have a date in Dublin, but I don't think they're, I don't think they're gone now. Mm. Is there much chat about European cards now? No. England, there's, there's, obviously. There's, 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 there's the big, the big England one in Manchester. We were talking about Tom Aspinall. So it's not going to be London, no? I think they want to move away from there. Mm hmm. They've saturated the market. They did, die. Uh, they just come, keep coming back, coming back, coming back. Mm-hmm. Throwing shoot at the wall. <laughs> just seeing what... They thought the... See, the first... Three, three ago was explosive. Uh, is this the one way I beat... What's uh, his name? Everybody was... Krylov. Big finish. Mm-hmm. And but then that was straight after... There. That was just after... And then they just kept there. going. They just kept going. Because they wanted to try and capture that same magic. No, you can't, you can't, can't do, do it. No, it was just sure. after lockdown. It was the first event in Europe. And it was, I think it was Tom Aspinall's first headlining. Was it Blades? No. It was him versus... Pavlovich. It was Alexander Volkov. Volkov, that's right. Remember he done him with a straight fucking arm lock? Aye, mm-hmm. Volkov. And Paddy won and Molly won. And the place is jumping. Because mm-hmm. everybody was like, we've been stuck in the house for fucking years. Aye. Let's fucking race. As soon as everybody go out. Were people actually know on Happy Motors? <coughs> Top shouting Tom Aspinall. <coughs> Aspinall, no. Aye, he was Everything. talking about that last night on the MMA. Aye. He wants to fight Blades now, eh? That's what yep. he's saying. Unfinished business. He's got unfinished business and he's obviously fucking stirred up some shit with zero gain. Well, I mean, he, he, he busts two of them. He, he, he busts aye. both of the guys. And our man Pizzi was and saying that. Did he bust Blades again? Mm-hmm. Well, I know he did. He got lost I know, I know he obviously. Yeah. But I think it's a tough one. I know it's, it is a tough one, but I think Tom. He could take Gan down and do what he wanted with him, but Blades could be a, a tricky. A tricky opponent. So. I, just, I just think Tom's got the, got it all. He has. He can sing, he, he can dance. He's mm-hmm. like a triple threat. Blades likes a wee kickbox now though. Yeah, and he can, <laughs> and he can hit and he can wrestle. Fuck, aye. 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 So yeah. what's happening this weekend? Anything big happening in the old world of MMA? Can we, can we talk about Saturday and Sunday and all that? WrestleMania? Did you see any at all? No. I, I know, I know you, I seen, you don't watch it as I seen Hingy came back, Undertaker. Aye. I'm like, hey, come on, man. No, it's brilliant. But the, the Rock was fucking amazing, mate. The Rock you would have been amazing. You would have loved The Rock. Right? The Rock went from being this amazing, the most electrifying man he's spot to being a hack, and then now he's like, <laughs> guy who just says yes to any film. He's <laughs> a, got a film, you want to be in it? Aye. He's a, well, he's part owner, I think. He's got a chair, isn't he? So he's, he's part of the chair, isn't he? Like the board. But he's come out, he's a, obviously he's a heel, so he's a baddie, but he's coming out with the, the Versace waistcoat. He had the white flares on. Mate, it was hilarious, man. He keeps taking this. Um, Bell Co- Cody Rhodes got a belt. It says Mama Rose on it. And his mom's always in the front row, <laughs> and he's like, "What must I do for you?" He's like, "Come on, boy, come on, boy." <laughs> it's so funny. Mate. And then obviously, like the Sunday night was different because everybody was expecting Austin to come out and save the day, and obviously the lights go out. It's Undertaker. It's just it's, so. Yeah. But I have seen it's some cinema, but it's like it was class. <laughs> Yeah. John Cena ran out, I know. Who was to try and help? Aye. But uh, that's he, he, he got in the, the rock's face and it was like a big build up. But that's what I'm hot with that. He got hot with the rock bottom, mate. Like, that's 20, <laughs> like 15 years ago, guys. Yeah. Guys feel like 15, 20 years ago who are having to try and save fucking WrestleMania because it's on its fucking knees. No, I think, I think actually Triple H is doing a good job there now. He's took over, obviously, if he wins, but. How it happened? It's Vince. a new era. <laughs> Vince was at the P. Diddy party. P. Diddy party. What's it called? What's the name? What's the, 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 the party? Show? What's the party? It's called P. Diddy's parties. They've got like a name. I can't. Uh, oh, fucking. Funny like, when Vince grew the tash and tried to go undercover. Not. <laughs> 
Dat lost party. Dat lost party. Dat lost party. Dat fucking love that. They've got like this. Throw money on midgets. So the WWE is actually doing. I, I, I don't know I just can't you, buy you Triple H yeah, it's, looking, it's looking great um, but I don't know I think because The Rock's no doing movies now he's, he's all in it's weird because I was like right, when he's done he's probably way back to filming but he was in Raw the, night, the next night and looks like he's he's got he's a, 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 a storyline involving him again but Good. so well, I wanted to go me. so The Rock couldn't wrestled in eight years uh, they've got the performance centre in Florida and that way all the NXT guys but the the flu three people we know the, th- the flu Joe Coffey Mark Coffey and Wolfgang TLA they get um, the rock prepared for the match so, so the they Saturday, were they were wrestling the guy so, okay. so the Saturday night was a tag team match with the rock and Roman Reigns against Cody Rhodes and Seth Rollins and if they won then the Sunday night it was like bloodline rules they called it because that was the storyline so you're like right they're going to win the first night so then they'll fucking screw up, try and screw him on the second night. So the Rock won the first night, but to get prepared for this tag team match, they flew in Joe Coffey and that. That's pretty cool. To LA. And they, they basically done the match. So Wolfgang was at Roman Reigns, stuff like that. And I've seen like photos. <coughs> so they, they're called Gallus in NXT. They're like a three thugs for Glasgow, like to a square go. And they, they've got the poses and that. So they had a pose with the Rock like this. And I'm just like, this is this is cool. So That's he's, cool. he's making them off. Bump knuckles and um, both gangs at this. What did that? Cabbage. Daddy. To the rock. And he's like, what? Is that cabbage? He's like, yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm just like, what the fuck? But they trained for weeks ago to get the rock prepared. And on Saturday in the tag team match, you look great. Look fucking amazing. Still you? got it? Aye. I has, how big is the rock? The rest of it was shit. How, <laughs> how, in- of it was brilliant, how, how big is the rock in comparison to these guys? Is he massive? He is huge. He's, I'm uh, talking with his legs like this, man. But I, it was just a bit nostalgic when obviously everybody ran out at the end. They were calling it like the Infinity War. Hey, like, see, at the end, they like mm, end game. Where they all just come out. So everybody comes waiting in Austin, basically. But, Did he uh, not come? No. Good on Austin, man. Uh, Fucking second to him. So I don't know if. What's up with him, though? I don't know if he's. Didn't know why day or the money wasn't right or mm-hmm. his knees he's always had two fuck knees but just come in and stun or some kind of, you know what I mean Steve I had I'd seen they posted a video and it was like the Stone Cold was stunner and Vince McMahon I and, and he, so he can't bad. get it it's, it's so, so, it's so terrible I pushes and so ah. the Roman Reigns guy, guy he was a champion for since fucking lockdown so it was just like there's too long a reign and I'm just like it's the same storyline so the same guy, Cody Rhodes, won the Rumble last year, but then fought him at WrestleMania, they usually win. He got beat. He won the Rumble again. And this is what he's trying to complete his story. So I'm just like, this is going on too long. So I think this is when the Rocks came in. So it was fun because I, I stayed up and watched it because I was watching the UFC and I was watching the hockey and it was one of the same things. So you know I don't work after the Royal Rumble <laughs> WrestleMania weekend. So apparently the Royal Rumble's coming to London. Is it? No. They spoke about this, didn't they? Because no. they were speaking about WrestleMania coming to London. Mm-hmm. But that'd be brilliant. So, obviously, Clash of the Castle is... Oh, another thing. True Mank had the first fight, won the world title. Um, obviously, he's Scottish for ICW, big Rangers fan. And then, as he, like, he was taunting CM Punk, who was at the commentary book. CM Punk's hurt him. And then the guy who won the money and back cashed in. <laughs> and then beat him within five minutes so Drew McIntyre was a champ for five minutes and that's what kicked off the show so it was it was fun um, Clash of the Castle was coming to Scotland as the first pay-per-view in Scotland ever I think I'm not too sure where but are they doing it? the Hydro so the, I thought Drew was got to be like a champ for that so I don't there's know. still time isn't there I don't, know what, the, I don't know what the script is but it's good that they've actually done a pay-per-view in Scotland but I, the guys training with the rocks so I'm like they're, they're not NXT they now so I'm like when are they if they're doing that they can trust them to work with a guy like the rock and, and he's safe and they're not going to hurt him uh, they when, must know when are they getting mm-hmm. to the back the, the push push it's, it's all about the, the storylines and how it fits mm-hmm. in and how they fit in with selling the whatever it is the WWE want to sell at that precise moment so the, the three of them are Shawn Michaels guys like he fucking loves them he like that's who like basically I've got guys for he's basically so it must be just when they fit in their storyline, as you say. What, yeah, what is the actual pathway to the WWE if you're in, like, say, ICW or something? Because that's where Drew was fought in there, didn't he? Aye. Yeah. 
I think you have to. I think it's just time on their mats and getting seen on different promotions. So you see all these wrestlers like Joe Coffey, uh, Joe Henry, Drew McIntyre. They wouldn't just do like ICW. They would do like six different shows all within the UK, and then maybe get a chance to go over and do like small shows in America. And then from that, somebody maybe sees him and say, you know what, he's got a shit story or he's got a shit gimmick. But he's very good at wrestling. And then from being very good at wrestling, they'll maybe bring them into the NXT. Um, but they, they stopped the European one, didn't they? Yeah. Because they, they, they used to have like a European section where these guys would... Was it um, William UK, Regal? NXT UK. Was, was it William Regal? Aye. So William Regal used to go about these shows and they would, they would scout people just the same way footballers would get scouted. Talent. Um and then he would then help them build a story, build a character. Because the vast majority of people in wrestling have their like oh, this is my character and this is what I'm going to stick with sometimes they're just shit like, how, how many guys we've been up with, like how many guys have we seen in ICW and been like your actual whole gimmick shit Aye. or you're trying to rip somebody it's else's no gimmick off Aye. very, very <clears throat> low numbers where one guy has one gimmick mm -hmm. see as their career goes on they always try other it's things it's got to evolve and they're like maybe it hits a brick wall and they're like right we need to come up with new ideas here which is well Grado was a good guy and then he decided to go bad guy didn't Aye. he go heel I mean, he's well, still great though. Like people actually change their persona, their aye. costume. Mm -hmm. Maybe one day they're a fucking cowboy the next day. You know what I mean? Stuff like that. So it must be hard. Like these guys try to make, especially it's about image. You need you need to get a name out there. Socials. You need to do like promos in front of the mirror and all that. And be a trusted guy though. Like you say, you're training aye. with the rock. You have to. That's a big and word. it could be that can go for us as well. There's some mm -hmm. people who you maybe wouldn't know what to spar with leading up to a fight. So I don't know this guy. Yeah. For all I know, I'm getting cut wide open. I'm 100%, 100%. So there's going to be that. Like Even when we were the tag team champions. Um, ICW. Undefeated. Now I lost them. <laughs> and, uh, even when we were wrestling because we're like, right, who are these cunts? Like, yeah. They've got to drop us on our neck. We've got fights coming up. We've yeah. got careers. So you need, you need they, that trust they, as well. We've, we've said that about five or six times as we were leading up to the that that fight and after it the two guys that we actually took the belts for were incredible KOE. like really really good athletes really mm -hmm. really they're back they're tag champs again are they but the price, price. I, they're, <laughs> they're, they're, they're very very, very good, good did they rebrand themselves two bros I different attire and different movesets but they're still like name KOE and they're still talk about the same good they are actual yeah. brothers aye aye the brothers aye, aye. So aye, that's the wrestling part of uh, <laughs> wrestling daft now, you know what I mean? But I just thought, wrestling means a biggie. It was a 40 years. It's it's like a 40 hot, years of uh, WrestleMania. Aye. Wow. So it was a big thing, especially in America. It's a big brand. It was at uh, Philly. Philly. It was at Philly. Aye. What, were, you, were you going to say something there? I've just got to say, what could Steve Austin use for his knees to help him? Oh, <laughs> well, Steve Austin, you should uh, hit up our boys at Anaconda Fight. Ross, what's that website? Anacondafightwear.co And Austin, if your knees are very, very sore, and both of them are sore, then they have a deal. Ross, what is that deal? You can get any two products for $59. And I know you're used to wearing these leather jackets, waistcoats, and you're obviously getting a little bit older, the gut's starting to hang out. What can they, what can they get for Anaconda? Yeah, rash guards, they're twenty four ninety five. They're now any rash guard. Best thing about them for the chubbier man like myself, we band on the bottom, just stops that sliding up there. So Austin, if you're listening, <laughs> Anaconda's got your back, what? and it's <laughs> what, and it's a uh, it's very snake like. Goes with you, the rattlesnake. That's it. That. You're pretty well off, so you'll no need the code leather ten. But it's there anyway. <laughs> we'll, we'll send them out to the skull, the smoking skull ranch. <laughs> did, did you ever watch that? I've watched that before. Did you ever watch them? Aye. Did, did you know, I don't know. Yeah, like he was always on his ass doing stunners, but his two knees are shit. <laughs> it's like, why is he like tailbone or spine all fucked? I did a stunner to a guy in uh, P one day, and he just bent forward and I slipped right off and fucked my tailbone right off and it was like oh. <laughs> it was fucking the way inflamed man painful um, so I will get UFC 300 this weekend it's I feel like a dick is, I, that, is that a good card? I nailed it for fucking weeks is that a good card? weeks upon weeks upon weeks it's alright see the thing is you nailed it and it's no chased <laughs> like it's no go better it's always been the same I know but I think I'm just getting married I, yeah, actually just I had a look at it Aye. Do you know what it was? I looked at two, 299 and I looked at 298 and I was mm -hmm. like, they're fucking, they're absolute belters. And they were baggers as well. The events were brilliant. Like the fights on them were brilliant. And I'm like, I just can't see how 300 is going to live up to all the expectations. And I think it might. 
But I, I think you would have it'd been good to get you on it. Mm-hmm. I know you're on three oh one, but it'd be cool to be on three hundred, know what I mean? Aye. That's what it's missing. Have it's have either of you watched Embedded for the three hundred? No. It's good, a lot about Jamal Hill. But I've seen he's like shaking hoods and getting autographs after there. I've seen that. Like, can I have your autographs through? Well, I don't yeah. know what's going on. Like, I feel like everybody just, just sort of guy, isn't he, everybody Jamal? just thinks Jamal's going to get his fucking knee kicked in, and I just I didn't think that at all. Have you seen like Jamal going to town with people who are like on the internet, just with random guys all the time, seen, like def- all the time, like mate? Oh, you can't take a fucking <laughs> like, criticism. I don't know if you know this, Jamal, but you're quite a famous guy. Yeah. People are going to say things you. Then he like, you're going to have to, I don't know why he bite, like, we know you're good. You Do were you the know, fucking champ. See when they zoom in on, one, oh, zoom, <coughs> zoom in on him in the crowd and he's like, oh, what's this looks raging? <laughs> like, people are like, like, I'm the man still, you know, you just don't know, not like, like <laughs> hey, we know you're good. <laughs> like, but, uh, I feel like everybody thinks Pereira's going to make short work. I mean, I, no, I, I nah. didn't see that at all. I don't know. Uh, he, he, if Pereira does make short work, is Pereira... One of the greatest of all time. Ever. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ever. No, Ever. The greatest. Yeah, of course he is. Well, he is. The greatest, the greatest Mate, combat athlete. He's all about five fights. <laughs> and he smashed every gun. Aye. But they're favourable. <laughs> you got guys that want to stand with him and all well, that. Uh, <clears throat> you think about it this way. Like beat, Sean Strickland's throwing with his horns down in front of him. Not he beat Izzy. <laughs> That's a fucking gimme. He beat Izzy, right? who's one of the greatest. And is Sean Strickland. As you already as if knocked him out as well, but. It's four one or he something. Beat, he beat Jam three one. Oh, yeah. Yep. He also beat Strickland from Haska. Yep. Mate, he's got some rap sheet. Aye, but John Jones would absolutely murder him. Oh, aye. So he's not the greatest thing ever. John Jones <laughs> would shag him if he felt like it. That's <laughs> not a big deal. Think, <laughs> are we going to talk about John I, Jones while we were on this match? Is he shagging cuts? I think Hill's got to win. Have you not seen what John Jones is up to? Aye, threatening the drug tester. <laughs> <laughs> Allegedly, <laughs> allegedly, a female. I've seen this. Right, right. High five. <laughs> so, see them all. Right. <laughs> so the drug tester or came no. to test him, and it was like, so he's come out and said it was after my, it was after a party, he'd been out partying, cleaning his whistle, and he was, um, he was lying on the couch trying to sleep, and he's, um, I think he's just had a, had a badging. Allegedly, so he's threatened speaks. her. He's threatened her. And he's uh, with his cock or to beat her up or what? What's I, I don't know. I, I think both are <laughs> both are very threatening. Somebody <laughs> spiked his cock. <laughs> <laughs> I've been there myself. <laughs> One third. <laughs> <laughs> I have not been arrested. Show more, show more. Aye, but there's a video where a CCTV video outside where he's walking back to the motor, and I'm sure he gives him a high five. Oh, is this is check? quality. <clears throat> Good old John, but that's the thing. Like, you, like you kind of expect that for him. Every aye, I'm like, well, of course. If if you he had gets, to, if you had to pick board, who it was, the big man's bored. The big man's aye. just sitting in the house, like fucking. We told me Aspinall fucking try to wangle a fight for me. Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck it. I'll go in the daughter's netball and get fucking smashed, and I'll get a bag. <laughs> Aspinall wasn't interested in talking about him, you know, on MMA. Didn't look really like it. Didn't want to talk about him at all. Well, he's probably had it. He's probably had it. Heard it from. John Jones himself that it's not going to happen so rather than him pushing the fight he's probably just like ah fucking leave it that's the thing with John Jones if he says nah no uh, you then it's no you mm-hmm. he has to kind of give you his blitz same way Connor is if you're coming into your career and you've beat everybody <laughs> they're getting a wee bit of grey balls down there not mean it's just like you don't want to fight Tom Aston <laughs> when he's playing <laughs> <up>. <laughs> this young <laughs> fucking fit bastard this hey. Climbing like a spider monkey but and wrestle fucking, you know what I mean? The ultimate goal has to be spot. John Jones. Aye. Aye. No, Aye. Aye. no fault of fucking Tom might have fight the best. That was there. High Aye. five. Aye. Get in the motor, son. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> I'll even get the door for you, man. And you go. <laughs> so I nearly, I, was nearly, I nearly smashed the cunt at the petrol station. You're a violent man. Again? Dude. No. The worky. So I go in, like, I'd, like, a uh, plastic empty bottle of water and a, a can of Monster empty. I go in, I'm like, I'm, I'm using the, the facility, like I'm buying diesel mm-hmm. and whatever. I'm like, you got, you got a bin? Uh, excuse me, you got a bin? I can't see one next to the pumps. Uh, we don't have bins anymore. I'm like, all right, like, you got, you got one here, in here? I can just fire in. Nah. I'm like, great. Yeah, but I'll tip on the floor. What petrol station do you go to <laughs> Disney of a bin? Right, it was a bit of a I'm just like, all right, I'm just walking about. So I go, I just go to get a can of Monster anyway at the fridge, but there's a coffee machine. And what have these wee, the wee bins? The circle, right? Bump, bump, two of them, right? So there's a bin in there somewhere. 
I go back to the, <laughs> the counter, you know, I get a monster. Where did you put that rubbish? I'm just done. In the fucking bin. What's it going to do? What's it going to do? <laughs> What's going to do with that, you? That's not what that's for. I'm like, it's a fucking rubbish bin. I like, you want smacked with this, man? Just tell me fucking like, you know what I mean? Like, would you be the same? Aye, aye. aye. I'd have just tipped on the flare the second they said there was no bin. I'd have just dropped it. No bother. I think what? Like, do you want to start on here? <laughs> I know. You know what I mean? Like, I would always say I'd just use that bin. Mm-hmm. Like, who's fucking bin is it? You walk here? Like, why are you bothering me? Why are you bothering me? Why the fuck is there so long right. got a bin? So, in my mind, it was like, just wreck the place. In my <laughs> mind, was it, just wreck the place. You've got a bit of the fucking me, myself, and Irene about you, haven't no, you? But that's like, he's clearly argumentative. He's wanting to start Sonia. Where did you put that rubbish? Who you fucking mm. talking about? I bet he was a Rangers fan. I don't know. He's like Chris Bungard, fucking prick. I don't know. What colour of hair do you have? The blue? Aye. Let's not start. So a very rude cold, person yeah. in the TikTok comments. Mate, you, you have been surprise, getting surprise. I know. You have been getting hammered. Was, was very it? rude. Just saying nasty things about me. What like call me baldy one of them? Go blow here, but did you did you sell me game cook games in CEX? Or do Samsung laptop PS5? See the last time I went to see it, did I tell you this one on Boxing Day with the, Lewis? He and the boy wouldn't give me wouldn't give me it, so I ordered the game to the shop and then went and picked up in the shop. Wouldn't give me it. I we need the debit card. I was like, I've paid it on Apple Pay. There's my card. Nah, it needs to be the physical card. And I was like, I've not got the physical card. <laughs> give me the game. I've got Apple Pay. And the guy was, he's honestly standing there in a fucking Udi. Fully grown man behind the till at his work in a fucking Udi. You've got an Udi. I've got an Udi. Aye. Aye. It's a Homer Simpson one. <laughs> I've got one with uh, pepperoni pizza slices on it too. <laughs> I can't believe you guys get into these situations. I'll, I'll say, like I'll you're ready to rock up, I'll destroy a pencil station, and you're going to CX to fucking wind. Like, no, to pick up a game. I just wanted my game. I'll say this CX is my favourite show. Aye. Have I right? I like it. But the there. woman I seen yesterday looked like Bebop and Rocksteady. I uh, swear to God. Like combined? If you're looking I, at them, are you thinking. Like, I'm thinking. She had it. like, <laughs> she had like stuff coming out her face and like a bone through here, like a tomahawk, and it was just like party. Alex like, Pereira's tribe. Aye, why do you like fucking <laughs> apocalypto shit? I mean, like, just give me my GameCube game, and I'll be on my. And have a nice day. What game, what game is it you bought? Um, Rogue One. It was a Star Wars. No, Star oh, Wars. Aye, Rogue One. Star Wars one. Yeah. But um, oh, no, no, just thought of it. <laughs> Like, I love the show, so I, I hate slagging it, but all of them behind the till, man, I'm just like, ah, you've, it's, it's like the Flintstones. Did shit. Ben and he no used to work there, actually? Nah, he did, that's what he was like house. He man. doesn't even fit in there at all. No. Ben doesn't fit in there at all. Yeah, it's one of the ones, eh, you've got to, there's some of the categories, you've got to circle to get a job there. You can't work there if you're just, oh. if you've got a good work history in that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Or good hygiene. Got to watch what I'm good saying. Hygiene is Sorry, well. Hamza, any of your guys are watching right. we are no fucking spreading any hate we are aye. just soul jokes bro <laughs> oh I can't remember what we were talking about aye me getting fucking insulted it's out of order it's a hate crime in fact <laughs> they keep calling him John Hartson which aye. I think's funny I get Tyson Fury for time to time I'm Tyson like, Fury he's a big tall fat guy like oh you don't look I like, like Tyson Tyson Fury. Fury. John Hartson John, John, John Hartson's funny mate yeah, there's John about Hartson. four or five so like fucking John Hartson oh mate I get about four or five times a day <laughs> like I'm just my day to day life people are asking alright John Hartson <laughs> <laughs> so, aye. Uh, the um, what was the ones the Hamza Yusuf clip? They gave us a lot of shit for that. Saying the, the TikTok oh, one that, got some amount of comments as well that triggered a lot of people. Aye, TikTok. I think when you were saying that you were taking money off people at Tina Park, people didn't know you got one. People didn't like that one. I don't know why. They were already in trouble. Well, in all fairness, you were providing the service. I know. Keep your money and aye. leave. Then you were it, fucking putting them back. I didn't in say give me it or else. Like you had an option to leave aye. with your money. You were providing a service to people who were needing a service. Very cool. This week, the guys put together a wee accumulator for the weekend's UFC 300. Here it is up on the screen. <laughs> so we've, we've taken Jamal Hill in the main event. We've taken Wang Zhe Li. Wang Zhe Li? <laughs> it's Wei Li Zhang. <laughs> uh, I'm in Charles Charizard. Big Char- man for Georgia, we took him. Um, we're taking Bo Nickel, we're taking Bobby Green, and we're taking Figueredo. We're banging on a hundred pound, and we're going to get twelve hundred back. Obviously, you're not. No, mm. this is, uh, this is and this is yeah. through this is through McBookie. So if you're looking to make this weekend's three hundred event more exciting, 
then why not check out the odds from McBrookie? We've uh, with some competitive odds right there, uh, and let's hope the the leather boys win some buck. Barely bunker. I'll clap that shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Very can, fair. I, can I speak about? <laughs> you speak about any guy. Want, mate. So I've, I've been seeing recently who's like famous on the old uh, Instagram and that. Like he's a like motivational speaker. You know who I'm talking about. Uh, his name's Andy Elliott or something. I don't know. He's got two million followers, right? Just a baldy guy, just shouting at cunts about like basically. Can you fire this guy up? If you've no got a six pack, you won't work for me. Or a, I've seen or this guy, shit. mate. You, you know what I'm talking about? I know what you're talking about. I don't know this guy. So, um, basically, he's screaming at cunts about like just try to make them mm-hmm. like better, but the cunts go fucking knee soaks on. <laughs> right? He's screaming at cunts. Quit eating junk food. Not me. I like right. it. Scroll down a wee touch, man. Scroll down a wee touch. Take your shirt off. This is a, this is my this. Take your shirt off. Like you fucking Is he American? You happy with that, right, basically? And um it, it, sometimes with the speakers he's got You're negative. He's you got complain. fucking shoes on and be nice oaks and all that. I'm just like, you're shooting it, cunts. And you're wearing shoes with nice oaks, I fucking pair. <laughs> Me. Mate, I'll eat a McDonald's, drink four cans of beer, half a bottle of whiskey, and still boot his head in, eh? No, so that. fuck your six pack. Unless he goes Couldn't past give the a fuck. Round. Aye. If he's got any sort of gas tank, we might have a problem. <laughs> but tell you what, I'll get a half gram just before it, so I'll make sure I fucking see it through. And I'll still maul him. He gets so, people up and just like take your tap off. Aye. And, all that. and then fat shames him. Aye, that's the thing. You see, you know, they're not just like you. You know, I'm all for two million followers or something. I'm all for fat shaming. It does work. It's so fucking annoying. It does work. I kind of agree with you. Like we have a pandemic of people being unhealthy, Mm -hmm. and you can easily say that somebody who eats a lot of shitty food with excess fat tissue is unhealthy. I Mm -hmm. don't think I said not be saying that's wrong. I I think it's fine, especially some a lot of men. I think would do better if we stopped going like, no, it's fine the way you are, and just went, look, buddy, you're fucking no trying. You're a fat cunt. Sort of. I would tell them about Lewis fucking Capaldi. Lose some weight, fatty, and maybe you'll feel a wee bit better. Uh, you'll be able to sing your songs, you fucking loser. He might sing a That's happy song. That's not a day how he's not singing these songs. Because he's a fucking loser. <laughs> You're going to get a hit this week because I'm clapping that. Uh, All yeah. the Lewis Capaldi fans up. Why does he oh, sing Lewis Capaldi? Why does he, I, like I don't him. dislike him, right? He but sings a lot of sad songs. Because he's overweight, doesn't he? He does I, sing a lot of sad songs. I, like, look at... That's all he's got. <laughs> <laughs> There's no, maybe not a lot of nice things happening to him. Where's he go? Tourette's? Go to Tourette's then? Oh, he's on the road. Johnny Davidson <laughs> he's fucking exceptional eh? see the wee guy getting his hair cut in Tourette's you fucked this up when you're never coming back <laughs> guys that way tomorrow I've like, right. <laughs> oh, seen that today man I love time. that shit all oh, that Tourette's stuff. what was the have documentary you, I swear I can't help it have you seen the last you learned to drive it's good Tourette's aye, I've heard about this aye but it's, you can't everybody else is just putting it on That's Johnny it. Davidson's the fucking man the rest are just Faking it. Yeah. I don't know. I thought that guy Johnny Davidson was just trying to get like <laughs> welfare funds. <laughs> Maybe like welfare money. Like, <clears throat> I'm just getting extra money for the fucking social if I just a fucking What's social your Johnny Davidson quote? Uh, well, it would be racist, so I can't say it. I mean, the one he does in the supermarket, <laughs> Who, just right in their face. Who's that? The boy for Gala Shields. You ever seen this? He's, like, he's brilliant. brilliant. He's, he's like the, the your dog has got tits. The, oh, right, aye, aye, that's aye, Johnny aye, Davidson. Aye, aye, aye. Guy or something. aye, Johnny Davidson, your dog's got aye. tits. And he's like, aye, 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 aye. Pakistanis! <laughs> like right in her face in the supermarket. He's fucking... F- <laughs> Mind the one he's trying to get his dog to run over the roads. And then he's like, go, no! And then grabbing on it. Like try to get to run out in front of cars and that. Fuck you just can't... He, he says he can't help it. I don't know. Just going for an extra welfare, man. It's an easy one. If you were faking... Boys, just want to, <laughs> you want to do a wee quiz? Go on. Is that answer Johnny um, Davidson? We got help from a friend of the show. Who? Who will be voicing the movie quotes. Chris Toll. Yes. Oh, I guess. What a guy. So it's Toll's teasers. Oh, Toll's teasers. That Toll's, sounds Toll's funny. Teasers Toll's this week. Teasers. Is, he a, is he a movie yeah. guy, Toll? Toll is a movie guy. Yes. He He's actually got a movie podcast as well, the great Scott Cinema Club. Check it out. Really? Yep. I think he's kicking things back off. I think they've been a wee bit quiet recently, but... Um, right, are we ready for right. the first one? Is there a video to go on with? What we did? No video, oh, just I audio. I fucking love a video with him doing audio. a trailer. Dressed up. So, it's... That'd be brilliant. As what? Toll? Toll like, dressing up as a character or something? I, I do. I guess. <laughs> Toll dressing up as a character, doing the quote, and doing everybody else's parts. I imagine him dressed class. up as, like, Robin Hood. Tell me, just like, time with his life. Three days of your life, every single week, just to do movie well, calls for his place. Tell me, I appreciate it. Wizard actually... 
<laughs> made a game, but it was too hard. So I tried to wait to see if he could do it's it. It's too hard. And he said, no, that's murder. So he went, how about I just do this? And I was like, that's great. And the boys will love that. So here, Thank you, Tom. Tom, Tom here, is Taylor. The first Wait, man, can I jump? <laughs> <laughs> Schindler's list. So we just said, just said names again. Yeah. Right, here's the first one. This is just going to be. Oh, are we just jumping right into this here? What's yeah, for it? We, this we, is just we, us going to fight. <coughs> also, how long have we got left in the pause? Oh, Only losers fight. But uh, about 50, 52 minutes or something. And when are we jumping over to the fucking. We'll go straight after this, we'll jump over to Patreon. Oh, you lucky devils. So here is number one, and it's movie quotes <laughs> read by Crystal. <laughs> That'd be quite good, isn't it? They gave you your choice of duty, son. Anything, anywhere. Do you believe that shit? So where do you think you want to go? Oh. That's Tall Teasers number one. That's a tough one. Can we get it, can we get it again? Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. How many is there? I gave you your choice of duty, son. Anything, anywhere. Do you believe that shit? So where do you think you want to go? Oh, man. Can we get a clue? That's hard. Uh, there's probably people out there listening fucking uh, screaming at the just a sequel brought it no long ago is it June? incorrect no this year but ah uh, yeah <laughs> no, I don't know they gave you your choice of duty son Chris yeah. the Top Gun correct oh! <laughs> That's correct. <laughs> Craig, did you know that? Yeah. Do you kind of hear it? Oh, is it oh, it's, it's only in the headphones. It's only in the headphones. John Hartson. <laughs> Steady. Johnny Davidson. Elbow Dandy Webster. Back back Never got sent off for it. Right, here is number two. Andy Webster. First, don't fuck with me. I'm a desperate man. And second, I want some fresh coffee. And third, I want a recount. And no matter how it turns out, I want my old job back. Oh, fuck. Chris, falling down? No. Nope. Michael Douglas one? That's a good one. I've seen seen that. First, don't fuck with me. I'm a desperate man. And second, I want some fresh coffee. And third, I want a recount. And no matter how it turns out, I want my old job back. <laughs> This is class, by the way. I think Toll would play his character brilliantly. Yeah, I'm not going to see what he's going to say. <laughs> I think we all have yeah, to yeah. say that. Yeah. I thought the same thing. <laughs> Interesting. First, don't fuck with me. I'm a desperate man. And second, I want some fresh coffee. And third, I want a recount. And no matter how it turns out, I want my old job back. Chris. Reservoir Dogs? No. I had I had Pulp Fiction vibes. Yeah, so I, I, I was thinking the Dinosaur scene. Give I it think it's Samuel L. Jackson saying it. I thought. I, 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 did I, you think that? I thought that. Yeah. That's quite good. That's a good man. He's quite funny. Tell us who's saying it. Chris Toll. No. <laughs> <laughs> right, can we go into the next one? Can we skip? Yeah, that was, was, that was hard. This is fucking hard. This is solid. Yeah, How good. did you do with this? Oh, yeah, I got the answers right away just because he was telling me as he was doing it. Mm. So I didn't get a chance to do it. Yes, sir. According to the map, we've only gone four inches. No. Paul, According is it Lord of the Rings? No. I know this. Chris, the Goonies? According to the map, we've only gone four inches. I know this one. He's, a, he's a fucking performer. I know. According to the map, we've only gone four inches. According to the map, we've only gone four inches. Oh, fucking hell, man, I know this. Uh, genre? Mm. Mm. Mm hmm. This is a comedy film. I think I know who it is, says it, but I don't know the name of the film. Do you see who you think it is? It's the uh, Surely You Can't Be Serious. I am serious and don't call me Shirley. Is it airplane? No. That's uh, Leslie Nielsen. Aye. So the film was released in 1994. <clears throat> you know. 
Oh, <laughs> fucking hell, this is destroying me. It's a comedy classic. Is it Ace Ventura? No. Am I getting close? C- Chris, Storm and Dumber. Yes. Oh, fuck you, man. <laughs> you helped me with that we seen um, Jim Carrey, basically. Ah, uh, Jim Caviezel. <laughs> fucking hell. Should have gone that fucking hours ago. <laughs> hours ago. It's harder because he's no <laughs> putting it's any fucking voice hard, on. eh? Yeah. <sighs> right, we're ready? This is funny. This is solid. Cool. I know it's hard. Why do we feel it's necessary to yak about bullshit? Ross, Pulp Fiction. Correct. I would never go that. Yeah. It's with my Thurman at the table with George Travolta. Oh, that was a good like film. I like that scene specifically. It's my favourite film and I didn't get it. <laughs> I should have known you would be behind this fiendish Doctor Wu. Your knowledge Paul. is scientific. But- oh no, I, 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 was, I was going to go Big Trouble in Little China. No. Keep going. Biological transmodification is only outmatched by your zest for kung fu treachery. Chris. Kill Bill? No. Paul, is it, it's a Bruce Lee film and it's Enter the Dragon? No. It's a Bruce Lee film? I should have known you would be behind this. Is it James Bond? Fiendish Dr. Wu. Your knowledge of science and biological transmodification is only outmatched by your zest. Action comedy. Hmm. Action comedy? With Dr. Wu? Hell. But he's not called Doctor Wu. I can the film and I can't. I can't. So here's a wee he bit calls him the film. wrong all the time. <clears throat> Vietnam War veteran decides to avenge his brother's death. Paul, is it Kickboxer? No. Is it the other one? Was it two thousand nine? Two thousand. Ross, can Nah. <laughs> right, we'll move on. Aye. Fucking hell. You got to say one or something? No, no, no. Sorry. Those who do not appreciate life do not deserve it. Oh, Jesus. Ross. Oh, that's a tight one. I'll I, get you. I'm going to go train spotting. No. Is it pain and gain? No. Oof, that's a fucking. <laughs> that's obscure as fuck. <laughs> you don't like pain and gain? I love it, but I think it's going to be Those who do not appreciate life do not deserve it. Chris, pray for it? No. Fuck. Is it? It's a tough one. Gladiator? No, it's a gory thriller horror. Hmm. Is it? Silence of the Lambs? Those who don't appreciate life do not deserve it. Chris, Devil's Rejects? No. Those who do not appreciate life do not deserve it. Got to hear that, Master. Can we get any of these as a ringtone? Bed for two, man. He's always saying to say as a ringtone. Guys, try to teach people a lesson, but in a really Ross way. Saw. Yes. Fuck's sake. I live my life a quarter of a mile at a time. Ross, Fast and Furious. Correct. <laughs> Who's this guy? <laughs> Absolutely flying. <laughs> <laughs> the tables have done. <laughs> Did you know that after the heart stops beating, the brain can function for well over seven minutes? Oh, no, that's... Ross, <laughs> Silence of the Lambs. No. Did you know that after the heart stops beating, the brain can function for well over seven minutes? Oh, fuck. This has been a lot tougher than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, uh, it's hard. It's solid. Is it The Rock? Yep. It's a horror film. Keys one more clue. You know why I go to sleep. Freddy Krueger. Nightmare on Elm Street. Sorry. Fuck. I can, I, I'm not getting any of these ones. Aye, that's not like a famous quote for that I know, film. I was <sighs> expecting it to be like, I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> it's still tough though, but it's they're hard to get. Jarvis. The only thing standing between you and your goal is the bullshit story you keep telling yourself as to why you can't achieve it. Is it, is it Fight Club? I've nope. got to say Fight Club. Ross, is it any given Sunday? No, oh, fuck. Shoot. You mean in your fucking reason? <laughs> the only thing standing between you and your goal is the bullshit story you keep telling yourself. Chris. The Wolf of Wall Street? Correct. Fucking oh, come on. That's on that's impressive. Uh, Spotify, mm. audiobooks in it. His own book. It's good. Next up. How many of these we got? <laughs> this is killing me. Two more. Two more. 
I'm, I've, I've lost. <laughs> Are you even keeping a keep count? I've got four. Uh, Ross got four, three. three. I've got zilch. A man who doesn't spend time with his family. Ross. Godfather. Correct. Fuck it. Fuck it. Ross, hey boy. This Not, could be your first win. Yeah. Ever. A man who doesn't spend time with his... It's you watch dubbed by Tom. <laughs> 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 Does he spend Tol- time with his family? He's not a real man. Tells you guy in the corner. It's like it's what he's still language in that. <laughs> right, last one. I like to make him solve sums on a whiteboard naked. Okay. <laughs> you strike hard, defend, protect, and feed into the night. And there ain't Ross, no bad guy on Rambo. No. Paul. Last samurai. No. We strike hard. Defend, protect, and fade into the night. And there ain't no bad guy or monster ever going to change that. That's what's important. And that's why we'll always be brothers. Chris. Tombstone? No. <laughs> I thought you'd have got this one right away. Paul, is it Jaws? No. Oh. It's, he says monster, so there has to be like mm. Godzilla, Gaia. <laughs> <laughs> He's at one more, come on. Help me with So what play for here, Ross? You gotta take this. Strike hard, defend, protect, and into Gladiator. No. Bad guy or monster ever gonna change that. Ross, platoon. Paul Predator? No. Oh I don't be got either. No, I don't play that's not in Predator. Paul. Is it alien? No. Are we getting a clue? So the clue no. is Do you want a clue or no clue? The brothers. It's a Ross, set of ninja brothers. Four brothers. Chris. You gave fuck. Turtles. Teenage Ninja Turtles. That, <laughs> told, that was solid. That was excellent. That was too hard. <laughs> Very right, good. That's like the hardest we've done. The other one that we <clears throat> missed, you said we missed back to it, was Robocop. Oh. Uh, what was it? What was it? Say it again. So can know. you fly, Bobby? <laughs> <laughs> that's the quote you fucking use for Just Robocop. Don't fuck with me. I'm a desperate man. And second, I want some fresh coffee. coffee. Yeah, that's a normal cup in there. I want a recap. Get away me, that one. So thanks a lot to Crystal. Cheers. Thank Aye. you, Chrissy. Crystal, what a, what a quiz. Cheers, tall man. Do people say that they want to see him on the podcast as a guest? He's a cool guy. Yeah. I like him. Oh, we make it happen. Deny him. Mm-hmm. 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 Is that us moving on to Patreon? So, guys... That's the content for this week. If you want to hear us talk about WrestleMania, no, <laughs> <that's what laughs> US oh, USA, USA. Uh, then tune into the Patreon. Also, I was away to London at the weekend, and I went and seen the Harry Potter studios. You and did I and Mrs. Doubtfire, high as fuck. <laughs> The only one person missing out. Harry Potter studios is fucking excellent. Right. The, the musical, all right, it was good. So tune into the Patreon. Live, well, now exclusive to hear the rest of this shitty story.